Hey everybody, it's a Crafty Chris Sherry back for another video. Um, so I wanted to let everybody know that I am feeling much better. Um, I sewed today a lot. Um, I finished up all the bags that I need to get out. Um, I probably will not be able to get them out in the mail until Friday. Um, because I'll be going up to Graham's on Friday. And I need to look at my stitch markers to um, get that stuff. So basically everything is done right now. Um, I have a couple odds and ends that I need to figure out and write down and stuff. But I wanted to get on here since I haven't been on here. I did a video at Graham's this weekend. Um, kind of showing... The things that I finished um, the last couple weeks. Um, right now, I have... The only crochet whips I have are stash blankets and um, scrap blankets. And I'm looking at my yarn. It's getting down there. <laughs> Other than the full skeins of yarn that I have not touched because I want to use up the cake yarn that I have. Like, they're not like Mandala, Cupcake, um, Karen Cakes. They're, um, like, solid red heart. They're mostly solid colors that I just want to use up. I want to get them out of my stash. Um, uh, today is, had to get a new watch. Today is the 27th. It's a Tuesday. It is 2.09 in the morning. Me and mom are going to go up to her friend's house. I have to help um, take in a carpet for their living room. But um, I wanted to give you guys an update on the bags that I still have left. And some polymer clay hooks that I have made. And the bags that will be made shortly this week or whatever. So we'll do the polymer clay hooks first. Um, I think I have 10. So we'll do the Susan Bates ones since I have more of the boy ones than I do of anything else. So, the Susan Bates ones is, I have this blue and black, um, marled one. This is a size, where did I write it? It's a size J, you can't really tell because it's black. I wish I had white acrylic paint, um, the apple barrel one, but I don't. And then I have an eye um, for the Susan Bates. And then I have a six and a half, which this one's a K. And this one is yellow, red, and purple. And then these two are black, green, and blue. And they all have a um, eye an eye head or an eye pen so you can put a stitch marker on there if you choose to so I have those three that are Susan Bates I have quite a few of them that are boy so I have this one here and this is a boy it's this one is pink black and green I apologize for my nails. And it is a size six and a half. And the, they all, these ones also have the eyelet hook. Then I have this big one here. And it is an eight millimeter. Which is an L. So I have this one. And this one is purple, yellow, and red. I have those two. Um, then I have 
this one here that is also purple, green, and black. Or no, this is pink, green, and black. I need to get my colors together. And it is a size... five point seven five a j maybe I'm not familiar with um boy hooks I only use Susan Bates but I know everybody has a um preference and then I have this one here this one is with um transparent and blue teal and green. I love this hook. And that's an eye. And then I did another one like that. And this is the, this is a D, which is a 3.125. So. And it has, also has the, um, translucent with the green and the blue. And then I have two left. Um, these ones is a G and an H. They're a boy. And they are pink, white, and purple. And I have those. So the hooks are, um, $10 a hook. If you want more than one, we can do that. Um, I can give you a deal. Plus $5 for shipping. Um, now let's get into the bags. So the bags that are still, I forgot to tell you. So, um, I made a new email account for more crafts. It will be in the description box below as well as the more crafts link to the Facebook shop. So all of these bags that I'm going to show you right now are still available in the shop. So I have a, um, a Beauty and the Beast bag with the purple handle. It has light purple snaps and they do have pockets in it or it does have pockets in it and they're really nice. They can... What I like about them is you can fold the top down and this is a little flimsy, but you can fold the top down and still have your project sitting like this. It would be a lot different if you had something actually in them. So I have the Beauty and the Beast one. I'm going to throw this on the bed. I have a Skull one. This has red liner fabric. It also has pockets. My pockets, how I do my pockets is it's on both sides. Um, one side, you have a big space here and then a little space to put a, like a hook or something. And then the other side, you have two uh, kind of the same size pockets. Um, they're not going to be the same. Don't take a measuring tape and measure them because they're not going to be the same. But I have a skull one. Um, and then I have a mermaid one with a teal handle and teal inside. And this one has light purple snaps. Then I have a butterfly one with a dark purple handle and light purple lining and I cho chose to put orange snaps to try to bring some of the orange out since I figured it was a lot of purple so there's that one I also have a Batman bag um, yellow handle yellow lining yellow buttons I have a sloth bag with a brown handle, um, brown snaps, and brown lining. I have this pretty sunflower bag. It has green. I tried to bring the, the green leaves out a little bit. 
it has yellow inside. Um, then I have the Star Wars bag. Red snaps, red handle, yellow lining. Sorry if I'm just throwing them back there. I was um, bead weaving. And my desk is covered in my beading stuff. Because it's not something that I can sit on my bed and do. So I was sewing earlier today. So now I have my desk filled with my bead weaving stuff. I have my Llama No Drama bag. Yellow handle. I like yellow, I think. Almost all of these bags that I've shown have yellow. Yellow inside. I chose to put orange snaps on it. Then I have a flamingo bag. It says party like a flock star. It has blue because I tried to pick out some of the blue little dots. And it has a pink lining and a pink handle. I have this cute little kitty bag. Um, this one right here reminds me of Old Man. This orange one right here. I miss my Old Man. It has a pink handle, pink lining, and like peach colored snaps. I have my Cat Kiss bag. Green lining, green handle, and green snaps. I have my sweet sayings. It says, so cute, XOXO, hashtag love, babe, um, hearts, you are amazing. I think that's it. But I have this bag. It has dark purple lining, dark purple handle, and black snaps. And those are all the bags that I have still in the shop. Now, um, I um, attempted to make templates. And I will go get the templates. Okay, I got the templates. And these are for my bags. And I'm going to show you kind of the size that they make. So, I have... This one here, this is number one. This is my smallest one that I've made. It is 11 inches by 9 inches. So that is this one here. Now, um, kind of had, no, I just finished these like five minutes ago before I started doing this video so there is strings that i need to cut i will cut them um i will cut them when i get done with this video so i will cut them so do not worry so this is the smallest bag um this is the one that i kind of based off of the nine inch by 11 inch okay now, my cutting skills are not the greatest. I can't cut a straight line to save my life. Um, what I, what, what I need to get is some of that um, Taylor's chalk or some um, colored chalk. I don't know if I could use that for sewing. But a lot of the pens I have um, will not show up on a lot of the fabric that I have. So, I need to get some of the that Taylor's chalk that you get in the sewing aisle. So, this bag right here, this is for LaShawn. She ordered five of these for me. She had the fabric. She sent me the fabric, which I really appreciate her always, um, or at least coming to me and asking me to make her bags. This is the smallest one I made. This measures, I measured it. It's six inches by six inches. Now, I don't know how I got that from 11 inches by... Now, it is a box bottom bag, as all of my bags are now. So, I don't know if that has something to do with it or not. But, 
this bag would be perfect. And of course, I don't have... Maybe I do in this bag here. So I lied to you guys. I have one ongoing whip that I never... Seems like I never want to work on it. But I do really, really want to get it finished. And that is my easy essential cardigan. I split for the sleeves. I am that far onto the body. I just need to sit down one of these days and just get it done. Now, please excuse my cake. It was a whole cake at one time, but I've moved it from bag to bag. So, this was a whole cake of yarn. I'm going to squish this in here and see. Okay, we'll just put the smaller piece in here. And see how it goes. So that would be a perfect. Um, I don't think I have any. Like cupcake yarn. Or. Hang on a minute. Okay. I'm back again. So the only cake I found. Was a Ferris wheel cake. And I'm going to. Slide this in here. Very carefully. That fits, and I'm going to put snaps on this. So if I put the snaps on it, I could roll it down and it'd be a, a cake sack. Possibly. What do you guys think? And there's the cake. So I could make them have a cake sack without the handles on it. Possibly. What do you guys think? Would anybody be interested in cake sacks like this and I'd put snaps like two snaps on it um like maybe there and you could have it pull out the center what do you guys think let me know um oh I was telling you guys so I made a new email for more crafts so like I said it will be um linked below as well as my um facebook shop so this i have two bags that are this size and i messaged with sean and asked her if she wanted me to make um two bags bigger um i have a lot more of this harry potter fabric left um i just have to get navy so she has two um, of the six by sixes as of now, unless she tells me she wants me to make her some um, bigger sizes. Another size is 13 by 11 inches, which, so these are my templates. So this is 13 by 11 inches, and then I have 14 by 11 inches. And then I have my huge one, which is 17 inches by 18 inches. And then I have um, pockets that go with each, each um, bigger template. So then she has um, this size bag that's a little taller. And then she has this bag here. That I just have to put snaps on. There's those two bags. And you can see there is a difference. And then here is the ginormous one. It's huge. Um, so, yeah. And my last bag I have finished is a Betty Boot bag. That will be going to somebody else. Um, I just have to put the snaps on all of the Harry Potter ones and the snaps on the Betty Boop ones and they'll be good to go. Um, like I said, I'm going to get them out in the mail, uh, in the mail on Friday because I have to get some other things done. But yeah, 
that is it. Um, like I said, nothing. I started a shawl today. It's um by Fiber Flux. It's going to be like a a stash busting shawl. I'm taking one skein and using it until it's gone, and then I'm put tying another one on. So far, I have almost. I have two cakes completed and I have one more, but my room's kind of messy right now, so I'm not going to show you um, my empty spaces and my yarn or the rest of my room. Uh, so I hope everybody, thank you to everybody who um, messaged me in my last video, the one I did at Graham's, about me hopefully feeling better. I feel so much better than I did last week and the week before. My back feels pretty good. My dizziness and my headache are completely gone. Um, I went to my chiropractor three days, all three days last week. He's open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then I went the Friday the week before. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a great week. Um, and I'll talk to you guys hopefully soon. Hopefully I can get some stuff started. Um, and some stuff finished. I have a couple hats finished, but it's like nothing really to show you guys. So... Alright guys, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Um, the links to the More Crafts shop will be in the description box below. As well as the email address. If you want one of those bags, some of those bags um, are on hold. Um, I think the, the Llama one is on hold. Um... Then I'm not sure what other ones are on hold. I definitely know the llama one is on hold. The bags I have ready to go are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, Scooby Doo, Wonder Woman, uh, Mickey Mouse. Um, I have a different Harry Potter bag. Um, I have um, white background with black paw prints. Then I have some llama fabric, different llama fabric. I have some Star Wars themed one. I have Minnie Mouse and I have Winnie the Pooh. Those are all on the ready to be so so pile. So like I said, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um the hooks are not on the more craft site, but they will be um tonight. So, hope everybody has a great week, rest of the week, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!